drill. Get your water, get your behind, back in line. Don't show no signs of weakness. Coaches are watching. They're watching how you walk to the water. They're watching how you drink the water. They're watching how you talk. They're watching everything you do. Make sure you're first in every drill. If you're not going to be first in every drill, don't camp. Because the, the, it's like anything else. Whoever's first, that's they're going to make. They're going to look at that guy. The coach asks for a volunteer, be the first to volunteer. Period. Don't sit there and be sitting back waiting for somebody else to do it. For you guys who aren't camping, that's fine. Make sure that you find your position coach. Sit around and talk to him. You know, it just be like some of you guys that have the high profile names, make sure you introduce yourself because you never know. That guy may be your position coach at the school you really want to go to. And he's going to remember if you're a butthole or if you try to big time. I'm telling you that now. If you try to act like you're bigger than him, he's going to remember. Especially if you go, so you don't know who these coaches are, who they know, where they're going to be at. So make sure you treat them all good. Like they say, we're not doing no cussing and all that when we get off the bus. It's business. <laughs>
one word, one thing. It's all the day for you guys. I was committed. If you go to these camps, and we put you through these drills, day in and day out, and did all these different camps, are you committed? So be committed to your teammates. Be committed to the process. If you're not committed to that, it's going to be long for you. It's going to be pretty tough. So if you go through it again, like I said earlier, think about being committed to the process, and you don't want a coach saying that finish the trip. All right? The way you compete at the highest level, at our level, is to get in this weight room as much as possible and get on, this, and get on the practice field. You can't miss time. All right, your goal is going to be pretty simple when you go to college. Get a degree, win championships, and get to the league. Okay? Our job is to help you do that. Being hurt, injured, or sick doesn't allow you to accomplish your goals. Okay, so what we do, we work very, very closely with our strength staff, take care of the little things, and get you in there so you become bigger, faster, and stronger. If you're bigger, faster, and stronger, you're less likely to get hurt, more likely to accomplish your goals. Our advice to you right now, at, in high school, is to start developing good habits. You get into college, the game gets faster, it gets more physical, things are going to happen. Okay, start developing good flexibility habits now, good core stability habits now. Get in the weight room now. So when you get to our program, you get to this level, you've developed these habits to help you compete at the highest level. Okay, we will spare no expense to take care of our players here, because that's what it takes. And it starts with our administration, our head coach, all the way down to our assistants. My name is Tyree Tisdale. What position? True. Athlete. True. I feel like they're good. I gave it 100%. So did you gain an offer here or no? Yeah, I got an offer out there, putting all the work in and showing them. I was the best out of everybody here. Coming to this camp, it really helped you think and make you go to school first and then sport second. All right. I'll uh, give a shout out to Tyree and Eddie McDoom for getting that Louisville off. And we also want to make sure we give a shout out to our campers. We have co, the coaches voted on it. We have two co campers. We would have had actually another guy who would have, who would have probably been uh, number one, but he got hurt. But for our co-campers, we got Maurice Thomas and Slater Williams. Those are the guys we thought had really good camp. Uh, that guy that I said we would have voted for, Jonah. Uh, Jonah had a great camp, unfortunately got hurt. So y'all clap it up for Jonah. Hopefully he get well. Also want to recognize BJ from yesterday. We forgot to acknowledge he had a 447, had three picks and one on one. So clap it up. That's good for a freshman. Uh, and uh, last but certainly not least, we want to give a shout out to Big Baby, who was exhausted. But he uh, came through like a soldier, put his thumbs up. Uh, hey, hey. Give it out to me, baby, y'all. Hey. Boy, on pressure. So, hey, guys, every we going to always recognize those who put it down. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're going to do an ice tub tonight. Yes. So, for all you guys that are yes. just, are you okay, big baby? We just say ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> coach running back so you gotta excuse me I'm a little biased towards running backs you know we got seven of these in this building all right seven of these and this is a real one too all right go ahead and y'all gonna hold this up one day you know what I'm saying see that name right there all right Archie Griffin he the only one to win two he's the only one to win two and guess what the man works right across the street all right he still works right across the street so we've got at one point last year, we had three Heisman Trophy winners working here on campus. Archie Griffin, 
who's in charge of all of our alumni relations. That's real important to y'all. I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. We have uh, Eddie George. Eddie George works here. He's in charge of our alumni. Now, he's here every now and then, you know what I'm saying? And then you got um, Troy Smith. Troy Smith was working on campus last year, but he went back into Canadian football. All right, but he's going to come back and work for our alumni. So all these people right now, I just told you this man won too, right? Mm -hmm. He's in charge of all the alumni, not just for sports, but for the whole university, man. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for you as a football player? It's the network, bro. Okay? So what I want y'all to hey, pick that up, man. I know you ain't been working out, man. I know it's going to kind of mess them biceps up a little bit. Look, see what I'm saying? I don't want to mess them cap up tomorrow. You know? What's up, boys? How we doing? My people from Orlando. This is Dexter, running back. <laughs> Young, 2016 stud, freshman here, lineman. He's at Oak Ridge. And this is Jay. boys here. Yeah, Jalen's a corner. We got about 20 more in the, in the gym, coach. These guys are coming to see you, actually. I was oh, uh, how'd you guys get up here? I, I, brought him, I brought him up on a bus trip. A bus? Yeah. From Orlando? Orlando? Try the bus. Yeah. How long of a trip is that? So these guys have come down to see me? Yes. I want you to jump my office. I'll be down in two minutes. You got it. All right. You got it. Thanks, Coach. Right, All right. And I'm just telling you, we're only we're the only campus, only school in America that has satellite campuses, major satellite campuses across the world. I'm talking about in China. Google Ohio State in China. You're gonna see a whole bunch of Chinese people doing O H I because they're going to school at Ohio State, studying business. Who's leading the world in business right now? China. Ohio State, they're going to Ohio State in China to get their business degrees, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm talking about when you graduate from Ohio State and that brand is behind you, I'm talking about you can go and live in Florida, you can go live in California, you can go live in Alaska if you want to. I'm, I'm going to be able to find an Ohio State alum to offer you a job. You understand? All right, so companies of people, of CEOs that come from Ohio State. You ever heard of Chase Bank? Yeah. Ohio State. You ever heard of Wendy's? Yeah. Ohio State. You ever heard of Panera Bread? Yeah. Ohio State. You ever heard of Victoria's Secret? Yeah. Ohio State. Matter of fact, you walk in the building of the man who owns Victoria's Secret, he built this building. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? You ever heard of the Limited? Yeah. You ever heard of Express? Yeah. Amacrami and Fitch? Yeah. Bob Evans? <laughs> All these cats. <laughs> <laughs> All these cats is from Ohio State, man. And I can go on and on and on and on and on. He's best friends with the Phil Knight. You know who Phil Knight is? Nike. Nike. His daughter got an internship with Nike. All right? It's about setting yourself up for life. And when you got on that bus, that's what it is. I know what this man, this man told me he was close to you. You on that bus for a purpose, man. Okay? Because you can't just limit yourself in life. That means y'all can't just set y'all self just for one particular thing, man. So when y'all got on that bus and y'all got outside that Florida State line, y'all here to see more. And there's more out there. And I'm telling you, this place right here got a lot. We got a lot. And we just give it to y'all. How about playing for a coach that's always got your back? I mean, like, got your back. Like even when the media jumps your tail and everything else, and you know what, we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can for you. Not just on the field, but off the field. That's what uh, I think. That's what's very. Uh, I don't want to say unique because I know there's other great places, but at the end of the day, I hope you leave her saying, "Wow, at least get you thinking a little bit." You know what I mean? And it's just making sure that you guys have something for life after football. You know. Uh, Back in the day, when you got a degree, that meant you got a job. Remember those days? Yes, sir. A long time ago, though. What's the difference? Ain't no job. Do, do coaches make a lot of money? A lot of money. Do universities make a lot of money? Yeah. What do you guys get? Yeah. You don't get paid. 
but you better take advantage of those four years. And so what I want to do is make sure that you, you're going to see a program we're going to talk about. We hook you up with all these uh, CEOs and corporations. We take every spring for about 12, 14 weeks and we talk to you and coach you and teach you about resume building, about uh, interview process, about credit score. How you doing, Stan Jeffrey? How you doing? How you doing, Stan Jeffrey? How you doing? Yeah, Stan Jeffrey. How you doing? Hey guys, this guy right here, Stan Jeffrey, is in charge of pretty much your everyday life. All right, anything dealing with community service, anything dealing with you working academically on a daily basis, you go through this man. Any issues with you growing up as a man and you need to talk to a man, this man's available to you to be your daddy, your uncle, whoever you need to be. He needs to be at that moment, okay? He's very important to your career, and the moment you get here, he turns into your daddy in every aspect of your life. He's in the middle of it, okay? So you'll get to know him real well. I love the man of death. I love him to death. And uh, I just know he loves kids. Uh, he does a phenomenal job by making sure that your experience here is what it needs to be, okay? So you'll get to know him real well. Have a great day today, guys, Thanks. okay? I appreciate Have a good it. one, okay? Yeah, a lot of our supporting staff here, just so you know, a lot of our supporting staff are former coaches. Right. So everybody we put our kids around understand what it means to be a football player. Mm -hmm. You're so quick. At Ohio State University, at the stadium. You know what I'm saying? We just check. Uh, it's a blessing to be here right now because most kids don't even get the chance to be on a, on a Ohio State field. So. Left. It's uh makes everybody nervous sitting here because imagine everybody imagine the stadium being crowded it's just nervous. Yeah, it's a blessing it's just a blessing to be out here because a lot of people don't get the opportunity and the chance. You know, this is the most kids dream and we out here looking it up right now. It's, it's, a, it's a good feeling to be out here, just to have the opportunity to come toward these schools, you know, to get uh, some good exposure, you probably get offered by one of these uh, colleges. Have you got offer yet? Anything no, yet? No, I haven't gotten offer yet. Hopefully, I, ha I have will by the end of this bus tour, but nobody knows until the end. Right, right. Still early. Still early. I feel good. Not many people get these opportunities. Hope I get offered to uh, Ohio State. Is very nice school. If I get offered by here, that'll be great. I'm Benny McCray, go to Calvin High School. You know, it's feeling at being at Ohio State right now is a great opportunity, you know, going to all the camps, work out with people, with the coaches, show us new techniques and stuff. Pretty cool. You know, to be around with the coaches, you are in new stuff, you know. I feel really excited right now. Great opportunities. I would like to thank God first, you know. You show them around, you know. Now how big would this be? They say they can 